Good afternoon. We'll be looking at some smalls that uh, I picked up over the last six, seven months. Uh, there's Frank Towsey, there's some beetles. Uh, I'm going to start with the ones I just have a couple of. Uh, Frank Towsey's How to Hunt and Fish. Color front. Great spine. It's number 21. Back's really good. Pages are in excellent condition. All these are going to be going on our uh, website. What we're doing now is putting one, maybe two, of a particular item on uh, our eBay site, and the rest are going on our website at www.imaginationradio.com. Any questions, you can email me at imaginationradio at hotmail.com. And our eBay site is OTR Imagination Radio. These are a very scarce item. Um, Frank Towsey's New York Weekly. A monthly, excuse me. Mostly a comedic front. Text on the inside. More of an advertisement type. Curious. Having not had one of these before, I'm going to go with uncut pages. Okay, what do we got here? Alright, we're starting on Little Chief. This is Little Chief 122 from 1889. It's in its folder. It's actually sewn in its folder, it looks like. Yeah, it has it sewn, it's a little time sewn in its own folder. Little Chief Library 122, 1889. Little Chief Library 267, Deer Leg the Scout. Got some. Nope, spine is actually uh, split all the way down. At least one illustration in the uh, interior. <clears throat> little wife, uh, little chief library 26. Kit Carson's best shot by Leon Meredith. This is from 1887. I had more. I don't know if it was Nickel. Here's a rarity. Border Boys Library, number 10. Will of the Wisp, the Bandit Queen. Got some staining there in the back from age. Beatles Boys Library, number 52. Beatles Boy Library, Sports Stories and Adventure. I'm sorry, I should have included the whole thing. This one here is from 1887. This is 188. Beatles Boy Library number 39, The Young Bear Hunters.
1986, I think, but I'm not sure. It's Beetle Boys Library number five, uh, Sports and Adventure, Stories and Adventure number five. Brian Adams. I don't really know what Grizzly Adams' first name was. I guess I'll have to look it up. Uh, let's see. Beatles Boys Library number 69. The Young Nihilist. <clears throat> it's got some shoe marks down there. It does affect the right-hand corner text. Too bad. The pages are white on it. Boys Library Sports Story and Adventure number 281, Joe Courage Double. <clears throat> Off white pages, very good construction, very little flossing all the way around actually. Oh, here we go. Beetle Boys Library Sports Story and Adventure number four, 143, Kit Carson the Guide. Well, Kit Carson collectors ought to be happy about that. Chip just came off that back. Alright, we're starting in the Gem Library here. 1897, number two. Lieutenant George Triland. Tricky Union Boy. I got a piece missing there. Does affect the text. Shoe mark up there. Doesn't affect the text. They are what they are, folks. Gym Library number 30. Lieutenant at Bay in the Cavern, Lieutenant W.H. Atkinson. This is actually one of the volumes one. The other one, the last one we just had was volume, volume five. I'm sorry, volume four, number two. Pete, Giant Pete the Trailer, Saved by a Miracle. Volume 3, number 10. H spot down there, some H spots are going on the edge as well. <coughs> Brand of the Mississippi, Very Good Scout Ringlets. Number one, uh, volume one, number twenty-eight. I'm standing on the edges. That cover has some H standing as well. This one's on someone's wanted list. I'll have to look. Uh, volume nineteen, uh, volume one, number nineteen, through the earth, eighteen ninety-two, mysteries of the unknown. Sure, I saw that on someone's wanted list. Volume three, number two, Dick the Boy Engineer. Boy, someone was just asking me about the first time I saw a locomotive in the uh, in dime novels. The reason I was thinking it was like 1886, but I gotta take a look through. I think it was Golden Weekly. Okay, we're going in the Nickel Library here. Uh, this is number 802. It's in its own uh, box, and it's on Dino, uh, part of Dino. Donald's Einhausen, which was a big group, a uh, big collection. <clears throat> Book is in very good condition, which was, was in this book. Uh, 
This is number 729, Silver Bullet. Steinhauer. Number 551, Tabard League. Oh, Marlene Manley. Number six, oh, five or twenty-five. I can't tell. We got a rub mark there. Hemmed in the Manhunter of Chicago. Oop, got a tear right through the book. It's, it is, uh, it is complete, but you've got that turn tear right there. Number. 11 series 15 Texas rifle the Texan rifles Look straight small piece missing on the bottom doesn't affect text it doesn't even affect the Back page, which I was worried it would. Nickel Library, number 744, the girl trailer. Its own uh, cover. The spine does look intact, but it does also look glued in there and not stapled. More of a binding process. Series 3, number 26, The Beaver Taker. Interesting color. Series 3, number 64. The Water Witch, the Red Princess of the Forest. Hmm, tape on the spine. Wasn't that noticeable in the front? Series 9, number 192, Old Ruby, Ruby Ray. Spine is split on this. Well, about 90% split. There is a piece of it still attached. <clears throat> Beatles Pocket Library, number 299. The Balloon Detective. We've got a piece missing there off the top. It doesn't affect the text. on the back page that it looks like. Beatles Pocket Library number 268. Did shot dandy. Got a tear. First couple of pages in the back. Or last couple of pages in the back, I guess.
Beatles Pocket Library, 220. Crack shot, Frank. Pocket Library, The Shadow Ship, The Rival Lieutenants. This one's in very good condition, white paper almost. Well, there you have it, folks. Have a good day.